Good, 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 good morning, everyone. My name is Zeta Rotondwa, your YouTube lecturer. This morning when I wake up, I was woke by a text on my WhatsApp from this person called Lulama. She has been our subscriber ever since last year. Oh, we have been together from PCPE. Now we are in city. And welcome, everyone. Welcome to all the um, NCV NQF level four students. Welcome to the year 2024. Um, the first task of the year 2024, the ITES practical assessment task number one. I don't know if in your campus you have been given this already, but others are given this already. Now, uh, the Lama woke me up with this task and said, Sir, could you please assist me with this one? And then, here we go. Now, let's, let's check it out. How is it like? I hope you have received the same one, like this one with this subject code. Uh, date implementation 1 January 2017. You know, they always repeat this question papers. I think last year it was 2019, if not mistaken. Now they decided to go back to 2017. But let's see if they changed the E. Uh, with this information, you will read yourself. Come on, it's the general information, the description of the task. In any industry, software applications are used to determine it to streamline the workload in business practices as programmers. Your duty will be to create this application to streamline the process across many different businesses, including the sales, payment, stock taking, uh, etc., 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 like that. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 among the professions below, you and design the application to streamline the process. The health professional. Doctor, nurse, dentist, any other professional that are suitable, lawyer, SI, restaurant. I don't know which one are you choosing. A restaurant, SI, lawyer, health. I don't know, but um, I think this stuff they still look alike a little bit, cause last year I did choose the 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 hairstyle one. And then we worked on it, and, and and I think it's the one that we also did in, when when we moved to to, to CSS, HTML, and the JavaScript. We used the hairstyle one, and then I think there's a timing point whereby we did also the restaurant one. Can't really remember. We will go back to our previous uploads regarding CP on our channel and check. But we haven't done about the lawyer and also the health professional. I think today we can go for the health professional and then later, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we will do the lawyer one and then we will upload them for you. So the instruction for the task, what you will need to have when you do this task is the update, the USB, the computer, the software, uh, yeah, the Microsoft Visio, I will show you, we do have it here, uh, they do tell you to use it to design, but I don't, myself personally, I won't advise you to use it, because with the VB, after you have done all your work, you can uh, use it to, I will explain and I will show you how we need to get to that part. So here we go, you are to create the class diagram. This is what I'm thinking about, the class diagram. They say for the class diagram, you must be using the Microsoft Visio. But my advice is that you use Visual Basic, the same one that you will code with. It comes with the option where you can create a class from the design that you made. The name of the class diagram, creating the class diagram, uh, creating the interface, using the checklist to Okay, we will use it, submit, okay. We will do that as well. That is task number one, right? That is subtask one. Subtask two, 
You see how easy it was to complete chapter one. <laughs> we just completed it by skipping. Chapter two, we'll go and do as they say to complete this task. You will need to create the program application, okay, in Visual Basic Programming Language. You must ensure that we employ our data validation defensive programming techniques. Follow the <sighs> sorry for that. Follow the guideline on the checklist. Okay, we will. Stop the screen. Ah, you will go through. Come on. Let's save time. I already have taken much of the time, right? Mm, exactly. There we go. So, task number one. Sub task one is for eight months by identifying the business. Already we have identified the business. It's all about the. Say journey. Yeah, where people they can go for yeah for booking the appointment with the doctors, the nurses, etc. And, and then the different day classes and the assign we will do that. Uh, uh, no problem. All this eight months is possible for you to get it all. Now, sub task two as always is the one uh, where students they leave the mark. They say create the class code. It's easy to get that much. Create the class property. It's easy to get that much. All of them. Code to get. Uh, it's easy. It's easy. Validation. That's where people they lose the mark. But I will show you how to do the validation. Constructor class. It's easy to get it. Instance. Ah, uh, it's easy. Code method. Trust me when I just say it's easy. It's easy. You'll see it when we do it. Okay. And people they fight to display and check out how many marks to display does have. And this is where even people got wrong in the exam room. Having four questions, sorry. Having four questions to complete, but they finish all the time in one question trying to display the things that are only having three marks. Okay, so task number three. You're just only editing the document or the, the comment. And then you get the format. So this is too much. It's easier. It's easy and easier to get it. All right. Let's kick start, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kick start. We should be done with this in less than in less than 40 minutes, right? In our so. so we're starting from the scratch, from the designing the new project. Okay, now it's easy to score eighty percent and above the distinction in such task, and also it's easy to score the total hundred percent depending if the lecture who gave you the work uh it's not easy when it comes to giving the work. Okay, let's say what? 20, 20, 2024, task 1. I think that uh, we should call it in that way. Please make sure that your, your PC on this is on Visual Basic. It's not on Visual C sharp because when you code, it will give you the error. And also when you come here, make sure that it's on Windows Form application and not WPF application or console application. Once it's in a different application, trust me, it will require the different programming language. And then when you code with the Visual Studio, with the Visual Basic language, it won't work. It will be giving you errors. Thank you so much for your input, coming back and telling me what to do, um, giving me the task, the, the previous question papers to answer. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, and hey, by the way, guys, my channel has been modded. What do, what do we say in English? Monetized. We have reached 1K subscribers now. We are more than that. We are 1.2 more than 1.2 actually 
We are keeping on growing. So please keep on sharing. Keep on telling others about this channel. This is the only channel that gives you the uh, computer science materials for free. Or from ISD, PCP, CP, CHS. This, uh, and we have introduced the, the system analysis and design as well in our channel. So be on the look. By saying this, um, I'm waiting for it to finish to open our new test. I, I wonder why it is slow like this. Yeah, so we have introduced the, the set system analysis and design as you have requested. Also, MET, it's there, MCV, all levels, it's there. Also, data, yes, data processing, uh, data what communication, DNC, data communication, data network and communication is also there. Almost all, except for English. Also, life, uh, life skill is there. And it comes to mail mail and all those things. Yeah, they are there. Check it out. Subscribe. Tell others to check it out and also to subscribe. So let's, let's just do this quickly. Uh, as I design, make sure that you also design, right? Um, how is the interface going to be like? I don't know. Okay, let me get the label. Let me, let me get the label. I'll use it to put the, the company name. Um, let me get the combo box. I'll also use it. Um, let me get the let me get the group box. Uh, oh, the text box is here. I can see. Let me also put it here. We will need it. Text box. Let me also go for the group box. G, 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 G. Where is the group box, guys? I can't see it. Dude, it's been a long time not programming since last year. Things have changed, yo. Look at my setup. I can't even find the group box. Uh, but the picture box. I think I'll I'll let to download the picture first and then we put the picture box as the logo of the company. So let's just leave it for now. But on the previous task, uh, we did put it there. We did. Okay, let me just search for it. Group box. There we go. I was supposed to do that a long time ago. So, on our group box, we will let's say copy and paste the label. We we'll have a label. We we'll also have a text box. Ah, the design won't be that much beautiful, eh? We're just doing so that you can see how to complete this. Task. So don't, don't, don't say no, say the design is not beautiful, I won't get the much much. You will design it to be beautiful, come on. You can't be wasting time uh, on, on, on showing you how to design. I, you, will, you will go through the designing, I'm just clicking things so that you can see what, what's popping up, what's happening. What's happening. Okay, let's also do this. The text box. Okay. Mm. Did I double click the combo box? Uh oh. I didn't want it to. It just happened. It's okay. Box. Okay, now on our. Okay, let me just copy the group box and make them two. Yeah, this will make things easier. Okay, yeah. Now this one is gonna be called since it's Lulama. 
Je suis le lama, le lama de Jared. You will expand if you want to expand the font and the size to make it bigger, right? But for now, let's just leave it. The only thing that we need mostly is the code. So on the first group box, it will be for the patient. You will excuse my spelling if the spelling for patient is incorrect. I'm not a patient. <laughs> okay, now the second one, it will be for the name, the patient, surname, surname of the patient, maybe also with the contact or email you can be creative come on guys and then on this side let's just say maybe a point name there you go now the maybe the first box will be like um number of a point Name. How many appointments are you having? You can go to one surgery to see uh, different doctors. Maybe appointment is the one that will be dealing with eye, and the, in the same day you are saving time. Eh? You also see the doctor that deals with with ears or maybe with teeth. So the the number of appointments can be more than one, right? And then again, the number of patients, the number of you realize that you are coming here you can just join the 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 the, the what we call it the, the journey maybe you and your partner or you and your child you are attending you are using the same medical card and then you on the same day you you come together on the on this appointment so maybe the number of patients are more than one or five i don't know or one it depends right and then here let's say the name the name of doctor there we go the name of the doctor and the names of the doctor okay Let, let's start to name this text our text box this one is for the patient's name right mm, so we go to to the property text box one and then we come to design and then under design on the name we change from text box one and then we said patient name there we go patient name and then we say patient surname. There you go. And then we say patient contact. I'm not saying surgery the system is like this, eh? But we are just asking it. Okay. Let's say number of a point. And let's say number of patients. And then here let's say hey, is it writing on the writing? I was in checking, I was just typing. I mean that once you type one, all of them they come on the right. Okay, correct. And then let's say give this one our combo box. Yes, it was not writing on the right place. This is the right place. Name of doctor. I almost said name of a nurse. I don't know if you can book an appointment with a nurse. I don't know. And then come to your uh, combo box. Now, on top of the combo box, there is a small arrow towards the right hand side. Let's click it. 
it will give you an option to edit items and then you click on edit items and then here on edit items we add the items let's say maybe doctor mo seda let's say doctor bono let's say doctor who else just give me a name um doctor who <laughs> doctor youtube huh? etc etc right and then we said okay then when you debug all those doctors they will be popping up here on your combo box ah uh, yes we need to add another thing right um after booking all these appointments and everything we need way to display the results and the price how much are they charging us for for one patient one appointment and how much are they charging us for um maybe having more than one appointment at the same day seeing the physician and 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 the is it the optimate i almost said the technician the technician is not the doctor so you see the names of the doctors are here you choose doctor youtube <laughs> yeah the comes but that's me i'm no longer a technician i the doctor <laughs> okay let's stop debugging continue designing and then finish the very time 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 okay let's copy this one copy and paste uh did it copy the text box yes there you go and then let's 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 change the name of this text box it's gonna be the appointment price price how much am i going to pay um let's take one text box copy and paste and then let's take it and paste it down here Okay. There we go. And let's paste it here and let's change the the name under the design. This text box will be called. You could say txt txt price. Normally, back then when I code. I'll say TXT price TXT uh CBO the name of the class etc like that you know, TXT number of patients TXT number of appointments and more and more and more you can choose to go in that way it's also allowed okay so now let's continue we are almost done we are almost done can you believe it? So now on your subject number two, it says create the class code. And it says how many months? And by creating the class code, it says number one. And it says one mark. Identify the classes and assign the proper the appropriate name and create the classes, okay? So let's add the class. We come to the project. We go to add class. Guys, this is different from PCP, right? PCP is completely different. This property procedure is different. You code in two places under the class and also under the button. So we are the first code is going to be under the class. There we go. <coughs> What's the name of our class? Okay, it says one mark for creating the class name. So by only doing this, you have already obtained the mark. And now it says identify the class and assign the appropriate name to the class. And that is another mark. So what could be our the name of our 
class. It's going to be called a point main. A point main. Let me put a appointment and then we say add so we have added the class and then they said identify the class property so we are going to have got we are going to have the private property and also the public property now under the private property i want us to create a oh, Hey. Yo, I wish uh, we were having a design, maybe somewhere where we can be able to see. So I will be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to check um, the interface how it fits. So we're gonna say private, private name. S string. That's the first thing. Again, private star name S string. And then we're gonna have private contact S integer. And then we we're gonna have private private um number of appointment as in teacher lastly we're gonna have private number of patients Number of patients as integer as well, and then now after creating the private property, we're going to create our um is a public property. Yeah, but we're gonna create our public property. Just in a second, let me go through the process. Yeah, yeah, we can too much, too much, too much code the section of all the properties. And then it takes too much as well. So we've got two. Two, 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 two. Already so far we have got eight months. Um, no, we have got six. We haven't done with the, all the properties. We still have got the public properties. And we still have the function. Whew, okay. Eight months on subject one, we have already gotten it. Identified the business process, we have already identified it. Identified the classes, uh, so and assigned them to the name of the class, we have already done it. Identified the class properties, we have already done it. Identified the class method, we have already done it. Created all the application interface, we have done the interface as well. So, the first eight months we have done with it, the subtask one. Subtask two, create the class code, we have already done it. Create the class property, we are done. Code the get section of all the properties. That's where we are coming to, the get section. So, oh, so far we've got eight plus this two, we have got 12 months. How do we create the get section? We use the public property. Public property public property underscore public property underscore the number of a point men as in teacher there we go we say get after typing get, you select it, you said enter, and then automatically it will create the get and the set for you. And then on get, we need to return, we need to return 
the number of number of appointments there you go and then under the search we need to say number of the appointment assigned to value there you go so we are done with the first public property we are coming to the second public property public property i am um, remembering thinking of mem machine uh copy and paste copy and paste <laughs> If you ma'am, hope you are good wherever you are. Okay, now we are coming to the public property number of patients. How many patients are they coming today under the very same um the very same medical card? Number of patients as in Tija. And then we say get, and then we space bar, and then we press enter. And then you return. We return. Here we go, return the number of number of patients. Okay. Wait a minute. Number of patients is not appearing. Number of patients are me and my spelling mistake. Make sure that your spellings are correct. As you see now, with the wrong spelling, things don't turn out to appear as they are supposed to. So number of patients assigned to value. There we go, assign to value. Done with this public, uh, with this public property. Now we have accumulated that, get all the uh, section of all the property. We got that too much. Go to the section of all the properties. All the properties. So, we are gathering the mark here, two by two, 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 until we finish. The public property, public pro, pro, public function, not public property, come on. You are allowing me to make a mistake. Public function, our public function, we call it calc price. Calc price. S C C mark, and then it will return. It will return. I'm using a different method here. I don't know if you will easily understand this one, or should I first work on the easy one? I don't know. Um, I think that the the best method is to go for. Declaring first beam number of appointment comma number of patients in uh, back in days, we will write the number of appointments as an integer, the number of patients as an integer. Uh, come on, we are in level 4. We can't be doing the code that will take the whole page to finish. So you are also allowed to write and put comma in between, and then you put as integer only just one, and then it will be for all things. Now, then, right? S D C mark. Now we come and we say try 
assign to uh, number of appointment multiplied by number of patients there you go and then we return five there you go okay let's see here what's going on here it's a number of patients it's not assigned to once it's assigned we must remove the underlining so what did we do number of appointments number of appointments come on the number of patients this one is not assigned so we need the number of patients I didn't even write the correct spelling. This is not number of patients, it's number of patients. And we have done it in all. So I hope we'll, we will remember it. Now we are done coding under the class. That's where there's too much of a work, guys. Um, when we go to the button, there is not much of a work. So now we are going under the button to code. Yo! Look at this. There is not even a button calculate on our interface. Imagine. Yo, we are so quick. Yeah, this is to tell that it's been a long that I've not been coding. Yo. Thank you, Lulama, for bringing me back to the coding mode. The coding. Um, vibe again. Let's say book a point a point I don't know. I calculate what the money for the appointment. <laughs> I don't know. However you gonna do it, it's okay. Okay now um and please guys be creative. Be creative. Here I'm just doing a simple interface for you to see what is going on. Be creative. Don't use the text box to display. And don't just only display the price. You can use even the list box. This um, task is wide, broad, and open English. English is it again. If there is no interface that you are told to design according to, design in your own way. Put some pictures here, some logo here. Be creative, guys. Don't stay on a text box. You can use the list box. Uh, that, that, that it looks like a, 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 what what do you call it? Uh, sleep. Be creative, guys. For me, there's no need to display the name and the surname and the context of a patient. But be creative. Make sure that you display them. I can make sure that I display them as well, but uh, th 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 that's not much of uh, me. Some things you just do them to impress the lecture to see for them to see that you understand what you're doing and you 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 are ready to score as many points as possible. So, okay, under the booking the appointments, we we, we say um what is the oh. Let me check the questions. Okay. Uh, create the constructor for the class. Constructor for the class and this is the two marks. Oh, we are really getting close to this 38 marks. Eh? From co co creating the constructor, initialize the class page, the default, okay. Code the method header, implement the method using the parameters. About okay for properties okay debug the method to implement the process okay oh we almost it we almost it now uh, we need to create 
let's say Jim. Remember um our class, what is our class? Here is our class. Our class is called appointment. So we say Jim appointment. They must not be the same, they must just only look alike because we are going to combine them together so that they can be one thing. So we I can say appointment one or appointment me or appointment you. But however, as long as whatever you name it, you remember it. No? So I, I prefer saying uh, if this one I said appointment, this one I said appointment. <laughs> I don't know if it's English, but yeah, appointment is this thing. You! Uh, what? I don't know, appointment. Okay, Lulama is... What's the shortcut of Lulama? Is it Lula? Appointment Lula. Maybe, I don't know. Be creative, however you want to do it. You can do it, okay? So, game appointment is... And then you name that other appointment that you gave as your as your what as your class yes. so appointment so this one as this one now we say this one assigned to the new this one as it understood okay uh, Appointment Lula assigned to new uh, new uh, appointment. Can you see what's going on here? Okay, we did that. Okay, my phone did check the next question to do in the so we are going to use the integer dot try path. Integer dot try page. Open bracket. Now, if it was TC, I was going to say txt and then and then and then. But then. You remember those text box that side? I didn't name them txt. I only said um, number of appointments. But I think they might give us a challenge a little bit. Uh, allow me to go back and put them txt so that we can be able to separate them. Okay? So that we can be able to separate the name of the text box as well as the name of the TXT yes. and then also this one let's also put TXT on, on the front here TXT yeah. and then the price Also, then the doctor you can name C D O. It's okay. Even that other one that side you can. Um, T X T. Let's say. Okay, the number of appointments. Dot. Text. Comma. Appointment Lula. Dot uh, number of appoint number of appointments. This line must go. Yes. yes. Now look the reason why I added TXT it, it was to separate the number of appointments and this number of appointments. They are not the same. We would have confused them. This one is a text box. This one is the one that we use here. Here, here. 
here, the one that we created as a private thing. So we would have not separated the difference if we didn't put the T X T. Okay. So now again let's go for again for the integer dot right page. Let's come to another text box txt number of patients. How many patients are they coming for the appointment today? And then we say appointment Lula dot um number of patients. There we go. Mm. Ooh -wee. You know, um, I didn't plan on 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 doing this, so it's, I'm I'm trying to think a bit tricky what to what to do, what to change. But you'll be creative as you do. If you have a challenge, you will ask me. Myself, I'm just giving you the blueprint on how to go about it, okay? So guys, remember, in our channel, since we are monetized, we are also allowed to let you pay for the membership. And then the last time I checked, it was 9 rand. There's 9 rand membership, there's 14 rand membership, there's 20-something rand membership. Buy that membership. 14 rand, 9 rand. Once you bought it and you come to my inbox and you just say, I am I'm here and I am your YouTube member. I've got the YouTube membership. Trust me, even if it's 12 o'clock in the midnight, I wake up and I assist you. But if you just pop up in my channel and be like, ah, oh, say, assist me. And you only subscribe, you just only when you subscribe, that's it. You know, that's not fair. Put me on that 14 range, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding, though. <laughs> okay, let's display TXT price. Oh, back in the day, we say TXT display. Come on. I'm fine, too. Uh, appointment Lulao, guys. Appointment Lula dot the name of our yes count prime. Mm, we are not sure if this thing can be in string, but it will be in string probably. In string. There we go. Ah, did I do all things correctly? I was so quick. I'm not understanding. If it's not under potential, so we just only be sleeping to speak of it. So when you are doing your own, not this one, the Lula Tentai, you will make sure that you also display the name. What's the name of the patient? Lula Ma is the patient. I don't even know what's the surname of Lulama. Lulama, what's your surname? Come to the comment and give me your surname. Or my inbox and give me your surname. For now, I'm saying you are Lulama Muzeda. So you're married in my family. And then your number. There we go. Okay, number of appointments. Three. You're going to see the dentist. There's the site. I will almost say Sayak. That is yet. Oh, yeah, man. The number of patients, we are coming as a family. Let's just say we are fine. And the name of the doctor is Dr. YouTube. And then you book the appointment. Oh, my God. Look at the price came back saying zero. What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? Can we go back and check? I don't know. Too. So far, I don't know. What did we do wrong? Um, under the button calculate, I think everything is correct. Everything is perfect. And then under the uh, class, 
let's check something here. Name of operation is given. Return type. Oh, that's where uh, things should be gotten. Mm. Type. Type. We don't have a type here on the private. I'm not seeing the mistake. I'm not seeing the mistake. But there has to be a mistake. Nah. I don't know what. But there has to be a mistake. Um, hey, Lulama, you called me off that man. I'm on. Please help me identify the mistake. It's here. It's here. 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 The mistake is here. It's here. I don't remember the way way forward again, but I will I will have to remember. I will have to remember. And I'm using the different PC with the different uh setup as well as to say um hey, I don't even know what how to call it. This software that I'm using this one is the new, new software. I don't know if it can pause and then it can continue if I can check, but in a moment let's quickly check and then if I fail to see, I'll just pause and then, and then check and then we continue. But the, the thing is we can the price. And then how did we reach the price on that other side? How? That's the only question I have. That's the only question I have. Um, okay. okay, let's do this. Hopefully it will be having an option to pause and then to continue. We are almost an hour and we are almost done. We are almost done, man. Don't worry, it has to be less than an hour. So let's just get pause. All right, all right, all right. Thank you for 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 waiting. I was still confirming and reconfirming. Now we are done confirming. Um, where were we? Where were we? Oh, we 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 oh, we were we were here. We were where we were. Hey, English. Where were we? Where were we? We were here. Okay, let's finish that. Like I said, we won't take much. So we're gonna go back for that uh, option that I wanted to go for at first. If you remember, when we get here, there's that option that I said you might not understand. Actually, that's the option that go for. So I'm gonna delete all this and then go again. Okay. So we just gonna say return. If you want back the video, you will remember, you will see it where when we came here we 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 were on the verge of starting with return. So yeah, it's advisable and best option to go with to say return. And look at my PC now. Is it frozen? I don't know what's going on here. Okay. We say return. <coughs> I don't know why it's too slow now. Is it because I said we must finish this in less than an hour? So we say return. What's going on with my TV? I don't know. 
and then we'll say number of number of appointments multiplied by number of patients. <clears throat> now I wanted to add yeah, it was gonna multiply the number of patients and the number of appointments. But then these people, when they come, how much are they? Uh, is it per appointment? Per each appointment, uh, let's just say maybe it's for those that have the medical card, it's two fifty, right? Please be creative. Be creative. Well, be creative on your design. You can also create something that says those that have got medical cards and those that do not have a medical card. Okay. So okay, I think we will be back. Let's see back in the Less than an hour. Less than an hour. We need to be done with this. Less than an hour. And then we are left with four minutes and thirty-five seconds. And the PC decided to be too slow. <laughs> when somebody is starting to understand the assignment, and then the PC decided to go like this. It looks like your PC, right? It does this sometimes. Okay, it's still debugging. Let's wait for it, even though it takes a year. Guys, let's buy the membership on the YouTube, please. Let's keep on subscribing, let's keep on sharing, let's keep on inviting others to come. Let's keep on helping grow this channel day by day. Um, I'm just gonna wait for it. I don't know how long is it gonna take, but I'm gonna wait for it. I'm hoping that it won't take that much long. That it's taking long. <laughs> it's really taking long, guys. Yo! And those, um, if you remember, you you are told to. The debugging the here on the debug is not showing the thing. Okay, she says it's still debugging. Um, I was still saying um, then then there's a question that it draw the class diagram. Uh. U M L diagram, and then I say you can use uh, Microsoft Visio, or else you can use you can use the, the, the very same project, uh, so, uh, software which is Visual Studio, and my advice is that you use Visual Studio. And then I will be showing you. It's just that now the the PC has frozen, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Why? 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 Can I refresh maybe? Ha! Ah. What did you guys did to my PC? Is that even English? What did you guys do? What did you guys do to my system? Imagine now it's about to take an hour. Hour, guys. Just only to the last part. Maybe these are the gods. They want this video to be over an hour. Maybe, but I wanted it to finish in less than an hour. Maybe they wanted it to be more than an hour. An hour and above, I guess. Hi. 
makul ya aku jauh Guys, pray for my PC. It is for Rosen. It is for Rosen. My PC is for Rosen. What to do guys, what to do, 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 look at this. Yo. Ay. Eh. I thought maybe they wanted the video to be over an hour, it's already over an hour now. But guess what I wanted to show you. It was very simple, is that it was it's waiting, the, the, the change that we just made, the results now are no longer on zero, they're coming back. Um. Ha! Okay, it is debugged. When is the debug interface now? Because once it's ready, it says that the debug, you need the interface. Or else did I pause this video while waiting for the debug the interface and then I'm okay again because like it's taking years so just only for a debug the interface to pop up. How? Okay. The refresh, the refresh now. It is debug here is our interface. Uh, the name is Lulama Mojeda Number phone, there you go Number of appointments, three appointments Number of patients, only two patients Name of the doctor Let's not go with doctor YouTube anymore Because doctor YouTube doesn't, doesn't give us good results Let's just go with Bono Book an appointment. Okay, it's 15 years. Okay, and then they said for booking an appointment, we will need 1,500. But it's just only 1,500. Is it 1,500 meters, 1,500 kilometers, 1,500 rand? How then do we know that it's rand? You need to insert the, the unit R4 rand. And then how then do we insert it, guys? Uh, the system is too slow, guys. I wanted to show you. But yeah, you just come here, you insert C2. <coughs> and then that's it. C2 inside the inverted comma. To say it's the currency. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you so much for following my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being patient to, to my system even though it, it's crashing while towards the end. God bless you. Have a great